All right, guys, it's time for our Legends Fan Cave series presented to you by Microsoft Surface. And this one's special because for the first time in the history of Man Caves, we are going to go into a two-time Super Bowl champion long snappers Man Cave. And here to take us around and show us around is Zach Diasi. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Good, man. Good to be with you guys. Thanks for having me. Let's go over your game day traditions back when you were playing and now your game day traditions in the man cave. Well, back when I was playing, um, I would always park in the same parking spot in the, in the MetLife Stadium, an old giant stadium as well. And uh, I'd always put on my left shoe first. Not that I'm superstitious, but... Uh, wow. Uh, wow. And then, uh, you know, we have our meetings in, in the hotel room. And I would make the entire team milkshakes, Oreo milkshakes, nothing else. If anyone wanted fruit, strawberry, or whatever, I'd tell them to kick rocks and get out of there. It brought a lot of people luck and, and allowed them to, uh, you know, relax a little bit the night before the game. All right. Well, let's get to this tour, man. Can you show us around? Absolutely. Welcome to my man cave. I'll bring you over here for the first part portion of this. Andover is where I grew up. That's my high school, Phillips Academy, where I was an all New England quarterback, I might mention. Here's another Giants legend, Steve Diossi, juggling myself and my twin sister in a football. I always love that picture. Now, come on over here. Okay, you might remember this, B. London. It's what we call a, a swag rag. Corey Webster gave this to me really? in 2008 when I used to play linebacker, or I had a sort of propensity to run into people and knock them over all the time. I gained the nickname Bam Bam, and that has been with me since 2007. And now we're gonna get over to the football section. My wife got these framed for me when I retired last year. The most recent Super Bowl, 2012, game worn, and there's the Pro Bowl one. Over here is Brown University football powerhouse. That's from back in college. For all the Giants fans out there watching, that's how me and Zach Diossi met. We met at the Boston College Pro Day. And lo and behold, we go and we were in the same rookie class together with the New York Giants. I think we did a pretty good job. So Absolutely. glory did. Absolutely. And here are some footballs over the years. Some game balls. Kind of hard for a long snapper to get a game ball. You got to come up with at least three tackles and execute your snaps. But I was lucky enough to do that in some of these games. So this is a Rookie of the Year trophy from 2007. Everyone in our draft class got one because I guess our, our rookie class contributed so much, as you remember, B. London. And uh, I'm very proud of that because th those are a great group of guys and, and we had so much fun. So much fun. And uh, now for my favorite piece in the entire man cave. It is an oil painting of Big Steve Diossi. I like to joke that he kind of looks like Sloth from The Goonies. That's one of my favorite pieces. This, two generations of Giants players right here. That's my dad, Steve, standing with my opa, my grandfather, at Old Giant Stadium. And then here we are, years later, standing at the same steps at the Giant Stadium. Three generations there. What's that feel like, though, Zach? Now that you can look back at your not only your, your dad's career, but your career, what does that mean to you to look at that picture? It just, you know, I, I think it brings a lot of, like, a lot of pride you know, the, the, the Aussies are, are, are a big part of the Giants, you know, history, and at least, at least we like to think so, and, and that's just my favorite picture. Definitely one of my favorite pictures. Bam Bam, thanks for taking us to the man cave, man. Enjoy retirement, buddy. Thanks, brother. Be well.